Welcome dear students. Today in math subject, our lesson is let us learn tense. Now children in the previous class, we have already studied numbers 1 to 9. The numbers 1 to 9 are single. So they are called as one digit numbers. Whereas 10 has two digits in it. That is 1 and 0. So it is called as two digit number. Now, our today's lesson is about tens. So, let me explain to you all the concept of tens. As you all have a particular place to sit in a classroom, in the same way, the number 10 too has a place value. Let me explain to you all the place value of the number 10. Number 10, the first digit that is number 1 is in tens place. And the second digit that is 0 is in units place. Now let us see first what is tens. A ten means a bundle of ten units or singles. A ten has one ten and zero units. So to understand this concept better we will see some examples. Here is a house name units. So for this we, we have written U. Okay. So let's start the numbers. Okay. So let's start to write the numbers. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay. Now, the next number after 9 is 10. Okay. So, for 10, what we write? We write 1 and 0. So, in the units house, so in the units house, this units house, we cannot keep two numbers together. We cannot keep Two numbers together. That is 1 and 0. So what we do? We make a new house. Okay. We make a new house for this. See here. Now we will make a new house for this. Okay children. And we will name this house and for this house we will keep the name tens we will keep the name tens that is t okay we will keep the name tens t because we cannot keep the same name for two house that's why for this house we keep the name tens and we represent it with T. Now, how we are going to write 10? Now, how we are going to write 10 children? That is 1 and 0. How we will write 10? Because we cannot keep two numbers in one house. So, what we did? We make a new house for number 10. So, we will write 1 in the tens place and 0 in the units place. Okay. So, that's why the units place only includes single number that is from 1 to 9. Okay. So, the units place only include single number that is from 1 to 9. But, 10 is 2 digit number. That's why what we do? We write 1 in the tens place and 0 in the units place. As we cannot keep 2 numbers in same place. Okay children? Now you all can see here I have got some sketch pins. So, let's count them children. Okay. So, 1, 2, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन नाउ वी हैव टेन स्केच पेन्स ओके वी हैव हाउ मेनी स्केच पेन्स वी हैव टेन स्केच पेन्स वी हैव टेन स्केच पेन्स सो नाउ वॉट वी विल डू विल मेक द बंडल ऑफ दिस स्केच पेन्स ओके विल मेक बंडल ऑफ दिस स्केच पेन्स नाउ आई विल टाई इट आई विल टाई दिस स्केच पेन्स टूगेदर ओके आई विल टाई दिस स्केच पेन्स टूगेदर एंड दिस इज अवर वन बंडल ऑफ टेन दिस इज अवर वन बंडल ऑफ टेन so how we will write the, this how we will write them that one bundle of 10 means one tens one bundle of 10 means one tens so one tens means one ten zero unit okay so one bundle of 10 that means one ten okay so one ten means One ten and zero unit. Now, children, here I have got some math sticks. Okay, let's count them. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. so we have 10 math sticks okay we have how many how many math sticks we have 10 math sticks okay so let's tie them together let's tie this 10 math sticks together okay we'll tie this 10 math stick together this way okay Okay, so I have tie, tied now ten match sticks together. So now this is our one bundle of ten. Now this is our what? One bundle of ten. So, so now what we will write? How we will write? We will write this ten. So we will write this zero in the unit place. Okay, zero unit and one ten. Okay, so one ten means one ten means what? One ten zero unit. So now one bundle of ten that means one ten. Okay, so one ten that means one ten and zero unit. Okay, children. In this picture, ten bits in a chain. Makes one ten. Similarly, in this picture, a bunch of ten flowers makes one ten. In other words, one ten means one ten and zero units. Now, in this picture, you can see. There are ten stars in a circle. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten stars in a circle, and zero stars out of the circle. The stars in the circle are in a group of ten. So we will put one in a one in ten box, and No stars left out of this circle, so we will put zero in the units box. Okay, children. Now we'll move to our next question. Okay. Now in this picture, you can again see there are. Ten balls in the circle. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten balls in a circle and zero balls out of the circle. 
so this so balls in the circle are in a group of 10 so we will put one in a one in tens place and zero cause no balls out of the circle so we will put zero in the units place so i hope you all enjoyed learning this lesson children that's all for today thank you